Hey everybody, with Windows 10 support coming to a close next month, and with Windows 11 being out for four years, there's something that's becoming more and more apparent. The Windows 11 system requirements, they're nothing but a big scam. Let me be clear. You don't need to have at least an 8th gen Intel Core series processor to run Windows 11. You don't need at least an AMD Zen Plus architecture CPU to run Windows 11. Because if you did, then you would not be able to run it and also run it well on much older hardware by bypassing what I call the Microsoft Elite Class system requirements for Windows 11. And I call them the Microsoft Elite Class requirements because, well, again, these requirements require you to have a much newer system than what you really need to run this OS. And it seems that Microsoft made these requirements so high, which is why I called them the Microsoft Elite Class requirements, is to try to get people to buy new computers. Because, let's face it, I have many videos on this channel of me doing installations of Windows 11 on computers going back as early as the middle to late 2000s era hardware. Now, of course, with Windows 11 24H2, the hard requirements did increase quite a bit. Uh, with Windows 11 24H2, you need to have a system with a processor that supports the POP CNT instructions and SSE 4.2. But still, we're talking about computers that were manufactured in, I don't know, 2011, 2010, 2012, that time period. More or less, if your computer is shipped with Windows 8, then chances are, when you bypass those Elite Class System requirements, it will run Windows 11. And if you fit it with a SOS 8 drive and at least 8 gigs of RAM, it will run Windows 11 quite well. Now, of course, there are some issues that come along with older hardware. Um, one common issue I've had on this channel is some computers with a certain Realtek Gigabit LAN controller, the default driver that comes on the Windows 11 installation media will cause the system to crash when there's a network cable plugged in, but it's a pretty straightforward workaround. But for the most part, about, I'd say 96% of the time, at least in my experience, um, no issue with Windows 11 on systems that don't meet those stupid Elite Class requirements. I mean, let's be clear. Um, now, while this is not official, this is me just speculating, and I think others out on the internet have similar opinions. The Windows 11 system requirements were set high to trying to get consumers to throw out their existing computer that worked fine, go to Best Buy or Walmart or wherever, and purchase a brand new PC to boost new PC sales and also strengthen security. Yeah, they claim that the system requirements for Windows 11 are to boost security on the Windows platform. I mean, of course, some of those requirements include but not limited to TPM 2.0, Secure Boot, and of course, a newer processor that has newer security features built in. I get it from a security aspect, they do want you to have newer hardware, but how secure will things be come 2026 when you have a lot of PCs out there running Windows 10 that are no longer receiving updates? Now, of course, Windows 10, you can get extended security updates through um, October 2026 for home consumers and two more years after that for commercial consumers. But there's going to be a lot of computers out there that are um, not receiving updates anymore. And I think that's going to be a much, much, much bigger security concern than just having those computers run Windows 11. I mean, I have so many videos on this channel, and of course there's so many videos on YouTube of people bypassing those system requirements 
and in turn the computer run Windows 11 quite well. And oh, let's not forget the multiple methods of bypassing the system requirements. Now, of course, every time Microsoft will release a new version of Windows 11, such as, I don't know, let's say 23H2, 24H2, there would always be speculation that they were closing loopholes. They were closing all the ways you could bypass the system requirements. It was even to the point where I made videos on this channel uh, out of concern that Microsoft was about to close the loopholes. But, of course, that never happened. All the common bypass methods still work, including using Rufus to bypass those system requirements, which is my recommended method of doing it because you can create your own USB installer that has those bypasses built in or you can still use the product server bypass method which is just simply using an official Windows 11 ISO image and instead of double clicking the uh, setup.exe you would go into command prompt to start it and you would add the switch product space server which would trick you into thinking that you're installing Windows Server instead of Windows 11. And that comes around again to why do we have these system requirements to begin with? I mean, there's speculation that when Windows 11 was being developed, even when they were showcasing Windows 11 under development, they were, in, they were at times running it on hardware that did not meet those elite class system requirements. Even, of course, the development versions of Windows 11. You didn't have to meet those Elite Class System requirements. And again, Elite Class is my nickname here for those stupid requirements. But even then, you did not have to, your system did not have to meet those requirements. It was only until Windows 11 was released in manufacturing that they started forcing the system requirements. And, of course, all those bypass methods um, had come to be known and again over the years of Windows 11 they uh, they still work so it's like originally when Windows 11 came out I was very skeptical of advising people or saying yeah go and bypass the system requirements and install Windows 11 on systems that don't meet the requirements but over the past four years again I've come to notice that uh the system requirements for Windows 11 are nothing but a big scam. They're a big scam. They're, again, set to try to force consumers to throw away. And yes, many will actually throw them in the trash. Perfectly good computers that were working fine for their needs. Or computers that may have only needed, let's say, I don't know, a solid state drive upgrade to get them back up to speed. These system requirements are forced retiring computers that are still perfectly fine for a lot of people's needs. And I would suggest um, if you are tech savvy, just, I mean, bypass the requirements. Keep using that computer that's working fine for your needs. Now, of course, I will mention that, yes, there are sometimes things can happen on systems that don't meet the system requirements of Windows 11, but from my experience, it's rare. Um, matter of fact, only one system I own, my work system, the uh, PortaCube system with the Ryzen 5 5600G APU, it's the only one I have that meets the Elite Class system requirements. My Midtower Lux system, with its Ryzen 7 1700X processor. It doesn't meet the requirements, but it's been running Windows 11 for, what, going on four years now, or well, three years? No problems. Um, the QQ Plexi over here, although it doesn't meet the hard requirements for 24H2, it's been running Windows 11 for quite a while now. Um, it's just example after example after example of systems that, uh, are still capable, but are being forced or tired by Microsoft. Probably to, like I say, they claim it's for security purposes to um, get people to use more secure systems, but you gotta wonder, if it was really that, why in the freaking world has Microsoft not closed off the loopholes to bypass the system requirements? Now, Granted, they could do that 
at any time they release a new build of Windows 11. I mean, it could happen. It's not ruled out, but it's starting to seem like it's probably not going to happen. Um, yeah, and the thing is, which I forgot to mention earlier, these requirements are forcing consumers to buy new computers. I mean, computers as recent as 2019 hardware, in many cases, are being cut off from support for Windows 11. They're stuck on Windows 10. Microsoft said, oh, just keep using Windows 10 if your computer don't meet the requirements of Windows 11. Just keep using Windows 10. Well, here it is, 2025, and those computers that are still perfectly fine for many people's needs are being stuck on Windows 10, and Microsoft is ending support for Windows 10 unless you pay them $30 or use one of the uh, few methods to get it for free. Extend security updates for the next year. Yeah, they want you to they want you to ditch that computer and buy a new PC. I'm not doing it. So with all these good computers out there that are going to flood the market because well, people are going to think, "Oh, they're obsolete. They can't run Windows 11. Let's get rid of them." That's going to make it more difficult for the PC refurbisher. The person who refurbishes PCs on the side and resells them, or the computer shop that refurbishes PCs. It's going to make it difficult for that, for, for them to resell those computers. Now granted, I'm going to continue to sell refurbished computers that are older than 2018, and yes, they will be getting Windows 11, provided that the uh, system requirements can still be bypassed. I will make a brief disclaimer when I sell said computer to the customer that the computer doesn't officially meet the system requirements. But here I am running my own systems that don't meet those requirements and that's what I think about the Windows 11 system requirements. What do you think about them? Do you think they're a scam too? Feel free to comment. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.